Hi, let us have better understanding about scaffold with visual representation. Let's assume I do have different environment of Kubernetes, either it could be a staging or production or even a mini cube. And I can use either kubectl or helm chart or even compose to deploy the applications into the Kubernetes cluster. Don't worry about these terminologies. We are going to have separate demo for each and every samples. And I can use any of these deployment tools using scaffold. Let's assume I do have the source code and the Kubernetes manifest as a part of the source control system. And I will be cloning it or creating a copy of the source code as a part of the local development environment. And within local development environment, we will be running the scaffold against that specific project and it will be monitoring the code change and as per the configuration that we have set within the scaffold for each and every project we will be having a scaffold yaml file which will have the configuration details on what build to use how to do the build and whether to do the deployment and if yes what type of deployment and different steps to be taken at different stages based on the instructions it's going to do the build I can use a local build either using Minikube or I can use some remote build like Google Container Build or some other build tools like Canico. Don't worry about this terminology. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to have demo for each and every case. And once the build is done, I will be getting the artifact that is the image and that image will be pushed into the registry or repository. And from the repository, I can trigger the deployment. The entire list of stages can be coupled together and that can be made as a pipeline. And for the pipeline, I can have the production pipeline or the development pipeline. In the development pipeline, the scaffold will keep monitoring the source code, whether any change happening or not. Based on the configuration, some changes demands the image to be rebuilt once again, or I can just update the source file as a part of the pod. So depending on the configuration, the scaffold will take the decision whether to do the build once again or not and invoke the deployment tools that is configured within the configuration file and deploy the changes. So the developers doesn't need to worry about the deployment or the configuration details and based on the environment they wanted to do, they can enable the profile and automatically scaffold will do the deployment. So this is what we are going to see in detail in this specific course where we will be discussing about various build and various stages available as a part of the workflow, different deployment tools and how to combine different tools and create the pipeline.